at the core level of your human being, there is um, there is a merging waiting to happen. And this merging is about you as consciousness landing into the body. So when you are being in love on different levels and uh, when you are moving in joy, you are automatically going to come to that deeper and next level. And that deeper and next level is bound to re re reveal itself as grief. So the nature of enjoyment is joy on one side, grief on the other side. It's pleasure and pain. This is the nature of becoming through the belly. Pleasure and pain go together. So without going through the grief, you're not going to be hollowed out in a way that allows for a bigger inner bowl, so to speak, to be filled up by her. So for every time your inner bowl is filled up, it feels fulfilling in the moment until you've lived that size out. You've lived that portion of life that's, that comes along with that size. The moment that's fulfilled, the grief will reappear. So the grief reappearing is simply life's way of saying, okay, this bowl needs to become this bowl. So the ground disappears and it opens for the next level that needs to be met. And it's simply how it works. This is how we grow into the ground. The pleasure and the pain go together. So every time that we land into the deeper joy, there is a piece of life waiting to be lived. And thereby I also want to say that the more you live, the quicker the cultivation goes. So it's something like if you are living that joy in full whoosh, then life passes really quickly. And that brings you to the next level of integration through grief quicker and the thing is that this is how your capacity to live as joy and thereby your capacity as the presence of power itself that grows quicker and quicker it is when you live fully and you die fully into that grief passing through the grief is something like the grief's main seat maybe is something like it's devastation. So it's or it can be can be devastation, but it has many colors. It's kind of like a gray sky, you know, it can be really beautifully in so many different colors of gray. <clears throat> so it can be everything from that color of gray, which is that kind of crisp, almost uh okay, not going into the grays, <laughs> but it can be that kind of 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 grief which has this sweet melancholy to it right or it can go all the way over to that kind of gray which has like devastation at its core so we don't we're not supposed to decide how the grief is it's something with meeting it at the color of it that we need to experience to pass it's kind of like passing an ocean passing through the grief is like passing an ocean the only thing you can do is like put yourself on it and then let the boat just pass through it. So you have to be really quiet with it and just let it be in the body. The grief itself is deeply sacred. And to start with, we find it inconvenient. We find it this, that, and the other thing. We don't fully agree to it and all of this. But it's something like the more our inner attitude towards that grief changes in a way where we can welcome it as a guest in our house and kind of receive the blues in a way which is really beautiful you know there we can that that passage can be also filled with so much sweetness it's not just devastation as in like you know it's, it's not like that 
It's like, how do we actually embrace that grief? And if we do it with gratitude, if we do it with the sanctity and the sacredness that that grief holds, then the sweetness can pass from the joy and directly into the grief and back to the joy. Because on the other side of the grief, when that has passed through us, and it's often through the lungs, as I say, there on the other side of that, the joy reemerges. And in a way, you can say it's about abandonment because it is something like in that moment, we are meeting a deeper part of ourselves which hasn't been touched by consciousness yet. So you as consciousness has to agree to be with it and to sail through it because that's you meeting that place in yourself. Mm 